That's Central Reggae Band live on stage. Bush Band's bash is underway here in Alice Springs. Welcome, Australia. The whole Bush Band's business um, process is three days of focused um, workshops from everything from musicianship to uh, performance skills and presentation while you're on stage, uh, marketing, um, recording contracts, um, APRA and royalties, and and what your legal rights are in terms of uh, you know as a performer, um, and and some really good fun things like going out and taking good quality bio photos for the guys so that they've they go away from here with a good set of um, photos and skills and knowledge and some new networks um, right across the, the industry um, through the mentors that they're working with. So we do that for two reasons. One is um, we're working with the peak bands from across the, the whole Central Australian region and they're ready for that kind of higher level of understanding and knowledge of, of, their, um, of their craft and, and the industry that they're working in and also to get them ready I, I guess psychologically for the event so they're rehearsing they're all hanging out together uh, jamming and just really getting their heads in the right place for uh, the peak performance on Friday night it's kind of like uh, you know having a camp before the grand final you know getting everyone focused and and um, and ready for the big game ready try it again ready? so you all say hey West Central Reggae you're listening to the big brekkie with G-Man on Karma Radio hey West Central Reggae and you're listening to Big Breaky with G-Men on Camera Radio. I'm working mostly on their posture and the way. What I'm, what I really care about is that they need to sing and be able to sing without hurting themselves. So that's what I'm, I've been doing these two last two days. I've been trying to um, teach them how not to hurt themselves, to not to jeopardize their voices. And I think it, we've been pretty successful because I'm listening to them all around here and they're doing a very good job. The, the, the amazing thing about this training was with them was the, the speed, how quick they learned things and that's something I really underestimated. They're absolutely amazing and the power, the energy they have, it's just incredibly stunning. The Bush Bands Bash is uh, a really integral part of Indigenous music development in Central Australia. It's a showcase of the cream of all the bands right across the region through all the different language groups. Uh, it's a very important um, part of developing musicians here in the desert because uh, it gives them an opportunity for a professional presentation of their music supported by all the organisations right across the region. Um, and it's a whole lot of fun. Yeah, it's grown and grown and grown over the years um, and uh, now it's you know one of the uh, biggest events in Central Australia. It's the opening night of the Alice Desert Festival this year and um, the standard of musicianship that happens every year it just keeps growing and growing and um, and every year the, uh, the standard just gets higher and higher and the fellas are pushing themselves along and we're all there to support them and um, make it as good as possible. Well, I don't know. I'm a publicist and I work predominantly for Paul Kelly and John Butler and a, a heavy rock band in WA called Carnival and I've fortunately been invited to Bush Bands Bash twice, this is my second time and I basically am there to help mentor the fellas and encourage them to get media packs together and explain how the media works a little bit um, and the biggest outcome from what I do with them is a photo shoot for each band so they get photos that they can use in artwork or uh, in 
for publicity use in the media. There's some amazing musicians and some you know, really good bands and I think yeah there's, there's obviously a lot of challenges particularly the remoteness here and you know that's a big one that's expensive to get anywhere but I think a lot of the bands are as good as anything you know in the big cities and on the coasts and I think yeah a lot of these guys have got a future and it's you know it's probably just about starting off touring you know close to home and spreading it further and further and further and I reckon there's a big future I'd like, love to see a lot of this stuff come to the cities. I think one of the biggest challenges for these bands is they need internet access, even if it's an internet cafe or at a shop in their local area. If they can have internet access, when we spoke to them, it's kind of a little bit frightening how many of them don't have it. And unfortunately for them, that's the way it rolls these days. Everyone's getting and music and hearing about music through the internet. So we really stress to them getting a Facebook page up, getting their videos on YouTube. They, they're crucial things. Even if they have to drive in to town and, and just get it up there, that's all they have to do. They, if they can't update it, it's not a big issue. They just need to get it there so other people can find them. What has amazed me is that they're there is this real flavour that is through nearly all of the bands. This, you know, this, this, this total bush reggae thing. It's got a bit of scar, and you know, there's a country tinge to it, but it is truly unique. Well, I, I, I'm here because I'm um, sort of uh, helping a young, uh, up and coming sort of um, a band, uh, and a lot of our like family from um, from the Pitjara Yangunjara land. Um, Central Reggae band first time here and uh, it's good for them to get up with the other uh, singers from different communities around like Western Australia, Northern Territory and up, up further up and for them to good for them to be taking part in this and uh, I think that's why I'm sort of here to encourage from uh, our area. This, this here, this thing is one of the best whoever come out with is really the best ever you know I mean given it, it's sort of like you know coming from a community which doesn't really do anything and to Alice I mean I know it's just a small I mean it's a small town but to them community boys this is a really big town you know it's um, it's huge and I'm um, getting a chance to play on, on the, on the back stage big stage is, is awesome
Thank you from Kirkura. See you soon, Kirkura. With Juby and Blackstone together on the tour. See you. Give it up for Blackstone, everybody. One more time. Give it up for Blackstone. You must be enjoying yourself. You must be enjoying yourself. Norris. Now I gotta, I gotta do something boring. I gotta read some. So, I gotta read something. And look, hey, hey, hey! Uh, listen, listen. I want, I want you both to say, "Good evening, Tasmania." Say, say. I want you to say, "Good evening, Tasmania." Say it again. Because we are going right around Australia tonight, everybody. So yeah. Well, I gotta, I gotta read. I gotta read. I gotta read some boring thing, but it's money, anyways. <laughs> oh, um, I like to say, I like you to say, good evening, Karma Radio listeners. Good evening, Karma Radio listeners. You must don't make sense. You must sound drunk. Here we go. I gotta, I gotta say something in it. I gotta, I say, good evening, G-Man. Give me a wave, G-Man. No worries. Oh, here you go. I gotta read this. I gotta read this. Um, thank you to Music MT, Country Arts WA, CDU, Northern Territory Government. We gotta say thank you to them. Skinny Fish and Office of Arts. Are you gonna be enjoying yourself? <laughs>
Thank you. Thank you.